Hello and good morning YouTube, it's Reselling Polly here, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm just doing this bit of a video this morning, as um, you can probably guess by the title, this is my first day as a full-time reseller. And I thought I'd bring you along with it on the journey today, um, just letting you know what my day is going to consist of basically. So. Uh, first off, um, I got up this morning, I have made sure that my son is off to college, uh, I have cleaned my house, I have cleaned my bathroom, I have cleaned my kitchen, I have hoovered and I have wrapped my four parcels um, that are going out this morning, um, just having a coffee, chatting to you guys and then I am going off to the parcel shop to drop my parcels off. From there, I am then going into town, um, about five miles from me, six miles from me, to meet another reseller who is the lovely Mandy Yates. Um, she lives not too far from me and we got friendly through um, UK reselling and Tat Chat. Found out we live near each other and uh, since then we have met up a few times and shared our reselling stories, had a coffee, been to a few car boot sales together um, and today we're going sourcing together so it's a nice first day for me as a full-time reseller and there's going to be coffee and cake involved in that as well. So hopefully I might get some footage when I'm out with Mandy. Um, Mandy's a little camera shy so maybe not um, but we'll see anyway. So I hope you, you lot have a good day and I shall catch you um, after this with some more footage. Speak to you in a bit, guys. Okay, hi YouTube, I'm back. <laughs> uh, I never gave you the date before. It's the 8th of November today and it is 6.5 degrees. So it's quite nippy, but it's very sunny. So a nice sunny day, although it's cold, which I don't mind. I'm currently on my way to the parcel shop now and it is um, what a past 10. Uh, meeting up with Mandy at 12.30 um, in a cafe um, but I've got a couple of things to do before that. I've got to go, my mum, my mum, got a couple of things to do. I've got the nip to my mum's um, to pick up some stock that I've got at her house. They're currently away in Spain um, where they live uh, half of the year and so it's just, uh, just checking up on the house make sure everything's okay. Again, so I've arrived in town now. I'm just parked up in the multi story car park. I am a little bit early to meet Mandy, so just underneath the car park, there is quite a bonnie charity shop. So I'm going to bob in there first before I go off to meet Mandy. So hopefully, I might be able to get a bit of footage in there. So I shall speak to you in a bit, guys. <laughs> Okay, let's go in and have a look, guys. Ok 
Okay guys, hi and welcome back. Um, my phone actually died while I was out so I couldn't actually get any more footage for you. Uh, I do apologise. Um, but anyway, it's later on this evening now. I'm back. I had a wonderful day uh, shopping with Mandy. Uh, we went and had cream teas and had the most great day sourcing in all the charity shops got some really really good pickups today really pleased to be bringing you this haul um spent a total of 88 pounds today and um i'm hoping to triple that at least triple that so uh yeah got some good stuff today it's amazing sometimes you go and you you can't find anything and then other times you go and there's an abundance of stuff so Anyway, without further ado, I'll just jump in now and I'll go through what I picked up today. There's quite a bit, so I'll do my best to get through it as quickly as I can for you. And uh, yeah, let's just jump straight in. Um, this is a um, jumper dress. And it's uh, from Next. It's a small size, but it's new with tags, so... I thought um, I would pick it up. It's only a size eight. Um, still got its tag. Should be thirty two ninety nine, and I paid three ninety nine. So hoping for about twenty on that, maybe eighteen ninety nine. So for a four pound spend, that's not bad. Lots of good stuff today, guys. Well, I think I've got lots of good stuff. Next I've got is this um, dress. It's, um, they do a lot of these. I've got another one listed at the moment, which is new with tags. Um, it's phase eight and it's like um, floral underneath and then it's got like this um, netting design over the top. I don't know if you can see that, um, this floral. It was, it's a size 14 and it cost me the great sum of one pound. So yeah, I am hoping for around about 25 on that. Um, just because it's coming up to Christmas season and I think it's quite nice. The colour's not brilliant for the, the Christmas season, but I'm going to aim for about 25 on that. So for a one pound spend, I thought that was amazing. And my pile of clothes has just all fell over. I'm going to pick them off the floor. This was another great find. Uh, this is Karen Millen. The tag's a little discoloured. It looks like fake tan on it or something like that. Uh, it's a very small size. It's a size 8. So it's a very skinny size. Pencil dress. And it's like... Um, and you can see that it's like a leopard, not leopard print, but an animal print sort of thing. So, and again, I paid one pound. So if I can get 20 for that, I'll be happy. Karen Millen's a bit hit and miss. Um, some, I, I've sold a dress for 35 pound and then others just tend to hang around and don't tend to sell very well so but we'll see this one i haven't really researched it's a men's um thin jumper it's like a burgundy color and it is all saints and that was as you can tell again that was one pound uh i haven't researched this but i think i think it goes quite well so i'm say about 15 for that I picked this up because it is coming into party season obviously and it was new with tags it's probably a bit dated but it's an alternate dress just show you that bit and then it's got this beading detail Oops, if I can get hold of it properly and it's just it's just a long floaty style dress um it was new with tags marks and spencers should have been oh 55 pound new and uh, i paid one pound size 12 
So again, hoping for around about the £20 mark. Might put it up for 25 This is not going anywhere. <laughs> this is staying with me. Um, this is one of those blankets that you put your hands through and put it over you. And it is a Meteuba one. So I can sit on my couch and snuggle up with this round me. Um, I love snuggling on the couch, so that will be staying. That was one ninety nine, um, so that'll be staying with me. I did um an hour about this one. Um, me and Mandy, I picked it up, and then I said to Mandy, "What do you think?" And Mandy was like, "Oh, the price is a little bit too high." Um, and but I just really, really liked the dress, so I just thought, you know what, I'm just gonna get it. So it's a bronzy coloured, like bit of a puffball sort of skirt and it's fully lined. It's caramelon. You can see that for it. But I did pay ten ninety nine for it. Now I don't know. I just I just liked it. I just thought it's got this crushed design effect. I don't think you can see it on there. Let me just move the camera up a bit you can see it there it's like crushed like a crushed design at the top and it's just it's lovely it's like a satin look um i'm gonna aim for i'm gonna put it on for 40. it can always come down if you know what i mean so i'm gonna put it on for 39.99 and just see where we go because karen millen is a dear brand after all and it is a small size, so it might hang around a while. If, if I have to drop it, I'll drop it, but I'm going to put it on for for that. Um, this is another one that I'm keeping for myself for, um, like, winter, Christmas. It is um, a limited edition. I think that is... I always get this mixed up, this brand. I, I always think that it's... Um, I always think that it's Debenhams and it's not, it's Marks and Spencers. And it's a wool dress, like a checkered wool dress. And I just absolutely love it. I love this. Um, the lighting is terrible in here. Sorry about this, guys. You probably can't see that. Um, yeah, n nice pair of thick black tights and a pair of boots. And, and that's me uh, out shopping and sourcing in that. So, yeah. That was eight. I did pay eight forty nine for that, but I wouldn't have bought that at eight forty nine to resell. But for myself, um, I really like that. So keeping that. This is a brand that I don't pick up at all, really. Uh, but it was new with tag, so I thought I would give it a whirl. It's um, Primark Atmosphere. Um, it's a it was new with tags it should have been 15 pounds and i paid it was a it should have been three and the cross through it means it was a pound so and it's just a, a little um black you can't see it on there very well it's like a jumpsuit but it's got this um sequined detailing all over it so christmas time somebody will want that so probably put it on for a tenner or something like that i'm sorry i keep adjusting the camera it's just with the light it it doesn't seem to be um i just want you to be able to see what i'm, I'm showing you so um next we have oh what's this one uh, this is another sparkly dress and the reason i bought this one is because it's a scoop back you can't see again um the that's the back of it so it scoops down and i always think they look really nice and it ties at the front it is by lipsy and it was three pounds so it's a size 14 which is a good size so i will probably put that on for about i don't know 14.99 i'm not sure with lipsy at the moment it used to be quite an expensive brand but i don't think it is as sought after these days but i'll put it on for 15 hopefully get uh, get 15 for it this was quite pretty uh probably the wrong time of year although it is black 
it's um, a black A-line um, floral skirt and it is by John Rocher but again it's uh, new with tags got quite a bit of new with tags today should have been £40 and I paid £1 so this might go more like near, near uh, winter time but it's a good size it's a size um, it's a size 18 so you never know somebody who's going on holiday might want to buy that at this time of year can't get hold of anything so um, they might want to buy it from my shop so I shall list that I'm um, going to list that at about 18.99, I think. This is a brand I don't pick up a lot of, but it, I, I like the dress. It's a top shop. It's a petite range as well. It's a UK size 12, so not bad. And it's just a little black, little black. Um, it's like a pleated at the front and then it's got this you can see that it's like a bit of a puff ball skirt at the bottom so and a bow detail at the front so yeah it paid a pound was it a pound for this one no two pound and um, I'll probably ask about 12.99 for that This is something I don't often see out in the wild very often, but when I do, I pick it up. And today I found two pieces. So this is mint velvet. It's a lovely, lovely shirt. It feels so nice, this. It's like a grey, um, with a, like a beigey spotty background. You probably can't see it on there. But it's a beautiful shirt. It's a size 14. And again, I paid one pound. I'm gonna aim for about 20 on that, just because I think it's pretty, so pretty. Um, and yeah, I'm sure somebody that likes mint velvet will like that. So yeah, I'm gonna aim for 20 on that. This was another um and ah, I ummed our ride over, and then I thought, do you know what? For the price that it is, it's fantastic. So it's a Marks and Spencers. It's a uh, pink jacket. Um, and I just loved these button details on it. I don't know if you can see them. Let me try and... It's got these big silver button details on. And um, it's a size 16, which is a good size, Marks and Spencers. And I paid £3. And I think it is absolutely lovely. It's quite heavy. It'd definitely be over a kilo in weight. So, yeah, I'm going to aim for about 25 on that. Might, maybe a little bit more. I think it would have been about a 60, maybe £80 jacket that. It's really, really... Probably the wrong time of year to be selling a pink jacket, but there you go, get it listed and we'll see. As I said, I had two pieces of mint velvet and here is the other one. There we go. This one was slightly more expensive at £4.49, but it is a brown and grey or beige and grey waterfall cardigan. Um, it's a long line one and it's got like, you can pull it in at the back if you want and these little toggles and I have seen one on eBay the same as this and she's got it listed for 15 so I don't know I was hoping to get more I think I will list this one at 18 99 um, just because it is mint velvet and um, waterfall cardigans are always very popular um, another item that I picked up today which is not going for sale but it's for my partner because he loves Star Wars and it's coming up to Christmas. So it's this Christmas jumper from Sainsbury's. It's uh, Darth Vader and the um, st Stormtroopers are there on it. And uh, I did pay 4 99 for this and it is only a Sainsbury's one. But it's Star Wars and he loves Star Wars. So like I said, I would probably wouldn't have paid that 
to resell. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe I would have. I don't know. Um, but that's going to my partner anyway for Christmas Day jumper. Sorry, I've just got absolutely... Low. I can't believe how much stuff I got today on my first day as a full-time reseller. It's like... It's like it, the charity shops must have known it was uh, <laughs> I was starting full time today because I've just got loads of stuff. I'm really happy with everything I've got today. Um, another new with tags. This is a Marks and Spencer's autograph classic black dress with three quarter sleeves. Mandy actually really, really liked this one. Um, she said, let me know when you've listed it. So... <laughs> She might be putting a bid in. I don't know. Um, it should have been £55 new and I paid £1.99. Um, so, yeah, it's a size 14, I think. Yeah, 14. So, that is beautiful. So, that, ooh, um, about 25 Maybe a bit more. Maybe 30-ish. I'm not quite sure. But around about 25, 30, I would imagine I could get for that. Um, this, uh, it's only a size, I thought it was only really size small, but it's not, it's a size five. And it's a Ted Baker, Ted Baker jumper, men's. Um, not quite sure how Ted Baker goes for men. Um, I know the women's stuff goes quite well, and I paid one ninety nine. And I'm probably going to ask about. It's got a little bit of bobbling, very very minor though. Uh, nothing that um I can't sort out. Um, I'll probably go for about twenty on that. Eighteen ninety nine to nineteen ninety nine, something like that. We'll see. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Another new with tags is this um, Pepperberry cardigan. It is brown. <laughs> I know brown's a bit of a funny thing, isn't it? I'm just trying to see if you can get the detailing on that. It's got like some be all beaded detail on the... It should have been, um, well, it retailed at £49 and I paid, again, £1.99. And it's new with tags, so mm, I'm not quite sure. Maybe put it on for 20 Sorry about that, guys. I, uh, I've just got a phone call. It's always the way, isn't it? Nobody rings you all day and then when you're busy doing something, somebody rings you. Or when you're in the middle of a YouTube video. Uh, right, I'll carry on where I left off and uh, I'll see if I can get through these as quickly. I did get loads today, um, but I couldn't leave them behind. So just so much good stuff today. I'm just so made up. Um, next was these jeans, not your daughter's jeans. Um, black ones. I've sold this exact pair before. And these are size 12s, which I have never picked up a size 12s before. They've always been size 10s. Uh, they've got the beading detail, oops, I can show you, on the back, on the pockets, and the lighting is crap. Oh, sorry, excuse me, excuse my language. Um, and I paid a pound. So, I have got a pair listed at the moment for about, about £20, but they don't seem to be selling. So, um... I may list these a little bit cheaper. I don't know, maybe sixteen ninety nine, something like that. You can see the the embellishment there, see the embellishment on the back. We have just an ordinary pair of another pair of jeans. Again, I paid a pound for these Oasis jeans. They always tend to sell very well. These look like they're quite a long length as well, and the skinny jean, which always goes quite well. So yeah, pound paid, probably get about a tenner for those. My mountain of clothing is going to fall <laughs> in a minute. This was quite a nice one as well, nice pickup. This is a jumper dress. 
um, with a bit of a nautical theme to it. It is, um, I don't know whether we can see this or not. It's Henry Lloyd. There's the tag in there. And I did pay £5 for this. But this um, has sold for about £35 quite recently on eBay. So I'm going to put it up at that. Um, I, to be honest with you, it, it looks and feels like it's new. It doesn't feel like it's been worn, but it's got no tags on it. So, um, but yeah, it doesn't, you know, when it doesn't smell like it's been washed or it doesn't feel like it's been washed. It has that feel to it. I can't explain it. You guys will know what I mean, you clothing resellers. I'm sure you'll know what I mean. Um, last couple of items of clothing i have got some other stuff to show you and um, this is fat face it is a lady shirt size 16s uh military style shirt i would say and um, paid a pound for this i think yeah got a blue uh cross through it so it should have been four reduced to a pound so for a pound fat face you can't leave it behind so yeah, I'd probably ask about twelve ninety nine for that, maybe a little bit more. And the last piece of clothing I've got to show you is this jacket. Um, I've never picked this brand up before, but I have. I do know that it's a good brand. It's Patagonia men's jacket. Um, I paid five pounds for this. And it's a blue sort of, it's a, only a thin, like, sort of walking jacket. Uh, but looking on completed and sold, um, I was quite shocked to find out how much these actually go for. I should get around about between 40 and 50 for that. Yeah, I know. I was really, really shocked at that. So that was a fantastic find. Um, so that's it for the clothing. Um, I have got some other stuff to show you. I've got some footwear to show you, but I want to show you these first. I picked these up on a whim. Um, I have no idea what they're worth. They may be worth nothing, and they may be worth something. They are. They are DC. DC comic is it? Yeah, DC Comics, two thousand and eleven, and they're die cast figures. No, I know absolutely nothing about um, die-cast figures. I have had a look on eBay and on Amazon and I can't find these ones. Um, they don't even look like they've been out of the box. This one is... Um, I can't even pronounce that. Atrocytus, is it? There we go. That's it. And they're really, really heavy. So I've got him. got that guy there. Uh, they were all £4 each, so I just thought I'd have a go. Went up to Christmas, people collect things like, they are proper collectible ones. I've got this one which is Death Storm, if you can see in there. Again, £4 paid. And this one is Black Hand. through the light there that they are a fair weight to them and then this one's not a DC comic but it is a Marvel yeah Mar 2010 Marvel Entertainment and this one is Grim Reaper now I could find him on there and he goes for about £7.50 so um, you know not massive amounts of money but it was a um, you know, just just thought pick something different up. So, so yeah, the other ones I've I've tried to research, can't find them. Um, they are quite they're heavier than this one, the DC ones. Um, I don't know if any anybody collects them or if anybody knows anything about them or if the value of the you know, um, you can leave a comment down below. That would be great. Um, that would help me out loads. 
Um, if not, I might just pop them on an auction and start them off at 9.99 each and just see whether they go. If they're worth anything, obviously they'll go for, um, if people collect them, they'll go for money, but good money. But anyway, enough waffling on. Right, shoes. Oh. These are Marco Moro, I think. Marco Moro. Or Marone. And they are, um, I think they're Italian, these ones. Yeah, Italian. The leather bottoms, as you can tell, with the, the marking on the bottom of them. So they have been worn. Heels quite good, though. Not in bad condition. Um, paid a pound. Paid a pound for them. So, yeah, probably between 15 and 20 for those. Pair of Lely Kelly's, little girl's boots. Always sell well. And I paid two pounds for those. Um, they have got a couple of the, the beads missing in a couple of places here, as you can probably tell there. Do you know what I mean? But I, I, I still think that they'll sell well. Um, so probably, I don't know, about 15 for those, 10 to 15. Oh, it's stores my... These were nice. These were from British Art Foundation, believe it or not. These are Gabor um, shoes. They look like brand new. They don't really... I think that's just from where they've been in the wardrobe because they don't look like they've been used. And they were reduced from 7 99 to 3 99 and I'm hoping for around about 25 for those. 20 to 25. And then the next ones are these Clark's boots. They're the old Clark's, so they're there with the K on the bottom. I think I think that that's the older brand. But they're a leather boot. It's coming. It's it's winter season, so they've got this uh, stitching detail around the front. Uh, paid four ninety nine for those. Hoping for about twenty. And then one of the best finds of the day was these men's. These are. They are by. I don't know, uh, by Chenini? Ch no, not Chenini. I can't pronounce that. Um, the Royal Tweed, anyway, you can see the label in there. Um, premier grade, um, I don't know whether they're handmade or, but I think they are handmade because they've got like all the little nails in the bottom on the heel, the leather soles. And these retail for over about 100 to 200 pounds new. Um, and they're in really, really good condition. The leather on them is, is amazing, immaculate. So obviously you can tell they've been worn. But yeah, I'm hoping for between 40 and 50 for those. And I paid 7.99. Excuse the looks like chewing gum that's on the bottom i'll have to try and get that off uh yeah 7.99 paid for those so i was really really pleased with those it was a fantastic find um good quality men's shoes always tend to sell and i even got these little um shoe expanders in <laughs> russell and bromley ones i could probably sell those as well but <laughs> sorry that way around yeah could probably actually sell those and make some money on those, but I'll probably keep those to um, photograph shoes with and stuff. So, yeah. So, absolutely made up with them. So, that is all of my haul from today. Had an absolutely fantastic day. I picked up some fantastic stuff. And the hard work begins tomorrow with um, photographing and listing everything. So... The only one last thing I want to show you that I picked up wasn't today, it was yesterday when I finished in my dinner hour on my last day at work. I picked up a collection of these um, Little House on the Prairie, the original DVD collection. The 69 CDs altogether, and they are 
all new and sealed apart from the first five. So there's 205 episodes all together. I paid £25 for the lot and I am hoping to get upwards of £70 to £80 pounds back for them all. They do go for more than that as well, so just need to do a little bit more research on that. But yeah, I've got a stack of them down here on the floor, um, what I've been photographing. So all in all, I've had a fantastic last two days sourcing. Um, just need to get the sales now and then I'll be happy. I've had um, a good day of sales today, so uh, been really, really good. I've only sold four items, but two of those were quite high-end items. So I'll leave that for um, a sales update for you. But yeah, all in all, my first day as a full-time reseller has been great. So I hope you guys are having a great time selling and I hope you're making loads of money and finding loads of great stuff. And I shall catch you again in my next haul video or in my next sales update. I'm not quite sure. I'm going to try and make it more of a regular thing now that I'm full time. Dedicate one evening to sales and one evening to doing um, a haul video. Um, and yeah hopefully see you guys soon thanks for watching please like subscribe and leave me any comments below uh, it's always great to hear from you thanks again bye